Hello, it's your boy D Timothy. It's another beautiful day out here in New York City. Guess what, man? Guess where I made it to on my ones? Guess where I made it to by myself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty, man. I'm basically in New York now because I've been traveling around everywhere by myself, man. We got the Statue of Liberty up here, and we got an amazing skyline in New York City. Brooklyn, in Jersey City, right there, man. <laughs> Today's gonna be a blessed day. Let me take you back to the start, though. Good morning. It's another wonderful day out here in New York City. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're in New York City right now, <laughs> and I'm out here with my uncle, Uncle Hugh. So we just drove over from Long Island. And yeah, so my uncle's gonna drop me off. He's gonna kindly drop me off at Utica Station and then we're gonna head off. Well, I say we, I mean me. I'm gonna head off to the Statue of Liberty by myself with the instructions that my auntie and uncle have given to me. And yeah, it's gonna be a wonderful day because one, it's sunny outside. Two, I'm happy to just be alive, but I'm also happy that I'm out here with this opportunity to spend time with family and to do my favorite thing, which is traveling and sightseeing. So yeah, you can see outside, it's a wonderful day. So, the entire day should be wonderful too. And uncle. Yes, good morning. <laughs> well, I'm so proud of Dwight and his, um, actually he's been blogging now for a while. That's quite remarkable. So we've started the day, quite a beautiful sunny day and um, should be quite beautiful for the rest of the day. And so he asked if I could see a word of encouragement. So first thing came to my mind is the fact every day is a gift. What we do with that gift is our expression of gratitude back to God. And so when you look around, even as beautiful as New York City is, and so many people see New York City as a glamorous uh, city with lots of bright lights and um, folks who look successful and happy. But in truth, beneath the glamour, there are people who struggle with pain and hopelessness. And I just want to remind you today that we have absolutely no control over what happens around us, except how we respond to it. So I want to encourage you today. Remember God is on your side and you're not here by accident. And even the hurdles or oppositions you face, they're not meant to stop you. They're meant to grow you. So as I often say to our youngsters, you will not, accom you will not accomplish what you dream for. You will accomplish what you're disciplined for. So exercise self-control stay focused on your vision and allow the creator to accomplish in your life what you were meant to be peace that's been a word from my uncle bishop rc you know you know man wonderful to spend time out here with him just as he said man life is a gift and every single day is a gift and it's about what we do with that gift distance right over there I can see the Statue of Liberty man that's where I'm going <laughs> yes yes and the, the ferry is pulling in right now this is pretty amazing I made it out here man
Man, my friend Izzy wasn't lying when she said that the queue is a massive thing. The line to get to the Statue of Liberty is two hours wait from this point. It's a whole two hour wait. This actually needs to be worth it, man. <laughs> a whole two hours, man. You can watch an entire football game. But at least I'm happy out here, man. If you couldn't tell already. So we had to drive to Philadelphia. Okay. Alright, so I got a fun projectile and bomb six. And it can go. Tell already, man. I'm just so excited to be here. Oh man, the views are amazing. And guess what? Hello, kid. It's just ex as excited as me. Listen, I've got a ticket to get up to the pedestal. Imagine that the crown to get all the way to the top. That's fully booked until January. So I'm gonna have to sell for the pedestal. Okay, I'm just walking down here because views of the skyline of New York City which was basically my favorite city from when I was a kid it's looking mad it's looking valid man all that New York slang my cousin taught me listen brace yourselves because on the right on the right right here I've got Miss Liberty and now to my left guess what we've got man we've got my amazing my favorite city skyline Right in the middle, right in front of me, we've got Manhattan, basically the main city area. New York State, then in the far off distance we've got Brooklyn, and right there, separating the two, it's actually not separating, it's like a bridge between those two areas, we've got the Brooklyn Bridge. Then, right in front of me now, we've got Jersey City, which is one of the cities within New Jersey State, but I'm not trying to go over there. It's New York, I bet. Pictures of the skyline, pictures of me. I'm, I'm just happy, man. Obviously, the sun gasses me as well, even if it's not hot. I was just thinking this is like a great area just to do another little downtime with deep sympathy. And I was literally just thinking about what my uncle said this morning about just basically seizing the day. Every single day is like a gift. 
and it's about what happens in previous days. It's about starting off every single day positive. So despite what may have happened in the past, you just have to start off with the right mentality there, or the right mindset to try and make each day that comes better than the last. That's what I've really been trying to implement out here. And it's working for me so far, despite any obstacles that I face. As my uncle was saying, it's not about the obstacles itself, it's just about trying to get past the obstacle. Yeah man, truly, every single day is a gift. There's no point spending every single day focusing on the past. Gotta keep moving forward, gotta keep it stepping. And the whole thing as well about just having the determination and being disciplined in yourself to try and achieve your goals. That's something I'm gonna try to take forward with me. So if there's anything you can take from this vlog, one, each day's gift, make the most out of it. There's no point, just think. Even some guy from my NCS, one of the YPs, young people were saying things like, each day that comes, you guys make the most out of it. Make some of every single day. Oh wow. Oh wow. It's time for me to try and get up there to the Statue of Liberty. The great thing about traveling solo is I don't feel rushed at all. Like I'm just gonna show up here for a while. Just enjoy the skyline, the sun, and the Statue of Liberty. I was about to go down and then I realized I rented a lock of two hours. Man. That was the minimum two hours, so I'm gonna take my two hours up here. So the Statue of Liberty was once the tallest structure in New York back in the 1880 something, whatever that sign just said. So if you if you read the sign, rewind and correct me. It's just been an amazing adventure to try and come here by myself, make it successfully. Now I'm going to try and get to Ellis Island where there's the museum because my ferry ticket also takes me to there as well. Then after that I'm going to get back into the city to see how much time I've got left because I don't want to be out here out in New York by myself can you see how much time I've got to like just explore try and get to Central Park the World Trade Center Empire State Building again my favorite building yeah probably just take the subway which will make it quicker as well but so far it's been a blessed day already man for real
haven't had finished to the crown. But I'll see you at the end of the day when I book a year in advance for when I'm coming back. But um, yeah, it's been a blessed day. Glad to have come out here. Glad to, I don't know. I feel like this would definitely be a good family trip, but at the same time, it's good for a solo trip. Because I really should spend as much time as I want to out here. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, but this isn't the end of my trip because I'm still on the island, first of all. I'm going to take a ferry to Ellis Island and look at that museum over there. Then, I'm going to explore Manhattan. So that'll be the next vlog. So yeah, I'll end this vlog here, man. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog because I've definitely enjoyed this day. And I can't wait to just do part two, which is explore Manhattan again on my own. And I'm gonna try and see what I can do down there. But yeah, it's been a blessed day, man. So, yeah, D Timothy vlogs, man.